What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of the Crack a Pack series and today we are opening up a pack of Kaladesh. Uh, actually one of my favorite uh, kind of artifact theme sets of the recent years. Uh, obviously we haven't had too many of those but uh, artifacts are notoriously just really really fun to play with in my opinion. Uh, they're, they're very flexible, they fit into a lot of different decks which I think is fun. Uh, and having sets themed around them, uh, ever since like Mirrodin and Darksteel and all that stuff, uh, has always been a really fun time. Obviously, we've gotten some really crazy decks in the past with things like Affinity. Uh, and this certainly has a few cards that fit into some really, really powerful shells. However, uh, a lot of what we're going to look for in here uh, are Chandra Planeswalkers are good. Uh, I also think uh, any of the masterpieces are going to be amazing. Now, obviously... The, the reality is we're probably not going to open a masterpiece. However, uh, we might. We, you never know. And so hopefully we do in this one, but hopefully we get something awesome regardless. So uh, we'll go through this as if we're drafting it. Uh, and as such, Acrobatic Maneuver uh, is our first card here. It's an instant for two and a white. Exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under, your, uh, under its owner's control, worth noting. Uh, and then you draw a card. So this is very much just a blink effect. The idea here is that you get to enter the battlefield triggers off of a singular card. Uh, not only that, you do draw a card off of this, and I like that as well. Uh, anything that replaces itself is a little bit instantly a little bit better in my mind, uh, just because you're not down on card advantage. You actually just kind of break even. Uh, and so I like this card, actually. Uh, I don't think it's amazing, but I do think in the right deck, it's great. Uh, however, I tend to want to take the cards for that deck uh, that are just good on their own first. Uh, if I find myself with a lot of Enter the Battlefield uh, triggers and things like that, I'll happily pick a card like this. Uh, I think it's great. It does save your creature if maybe they use a removal spell on it. You just acrobatic maneuver it and all of a sudden it's saved plus you get another trigger. Uh, really, really good. So in that instance, I think it's great, but I don't think it's a first pick. Uh, Nimble Innovator is a 2-2 for 3 and a blue, and when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Uh, I don't love this card, but I don't think it's terrible. Very understated, but obviously you are replacing it. Again, that's always a little bit better in my mind <clears throat> Excuse me, than just a card that you're playing out and losing a card for card advantage's sake. But uh, I don't think this is amazing. It's definitely a better first pick than the Maneuver, but I really hope this isn't our first pick. I will just go ahead and say that. Uh, just not a super exciting card. Hijack is a sorcery for one and two red. Gain control of target artifact or creature until the end of the turn. Untap it, and it gains haste until the end of the turn. So this kind of act of treason ability we usually see a lot in uh, especially standard sets. They tend to reprint that, that style card a lot. Obviously, this one is focused on artifacts and creatures, which I do think is cool because that gives you a little bit more flexibility, especially in a set where so many artifacts are prevalent. However, unless you have like a sacrifice outlet, uh, where you can steal their creature, swing in with it, then sacrifice it. That's ideal. But unless you, you you know, really get lucky and can make that happen, I don't think these kinds of cards are great. Uh, they're very much a win more card if you're just using it to swing in, and that is a very, very bad uh, maneuver in my opinion. So personally, don't love these cards. Uh, I know some people really like them, and that's fine. Uh, in fact, we had a comment on one of the videos uh, recently that said Active Treason was a very good card, and I don't think it's a bad card, but... I do think it has its place, and it's a very narrow place. Uh, I don't think that this is a great one to, to pick up, especially early. Uh, Sky Swirl Harrier uh, is a 3-4 four for 4 and a white, and it just has flying. Pretty straightforward card. It's actually perfectly okay as a 5-drop. It's a little bit, like, underwhelming, to be honest. It's a 3-4 flyer for 5. Cool. But that's an evasive threat. That's something that your opponent is going to have to answer, and I do think that's worth noting. Uh, it does put a clock on the opponent, uh, and so they're going to have to deal with it in some way, and if they can't, it will win you the game. Obviously, it's going to take a little while, but you can make that happen. So, so far, this is the pick. Again, this is a pretty bad first pick, so hopefully that's not the case, but uh, it, it's an evasive threat, and so for that reason, I'm going to put it here for now. Uh, a tune with Aether is a sorcery for one green. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. You then shuffle your library. You also get two energy counters. So energy was introduced in this set. It was a whole new mechanic that was really, really interesting, and it did a lot of crazy stuff, actually. It kind of broke standard for a bit. Uh, well, 
I, some people will say it broke standard. Uh, but uh, regardless, this is a very good card for multiple reasons. One, it only costs one mana, which means it's very flexible and very easy to play in, in line with other cards. So you can play this, then play a two drop uh, on turn three. Or play this and then play, I don't know, another one drop or on, on turn two. Something like that that's perfectly fine. Uh, it also helps you thin out your deck. It also helps you fix your lands uh, if you find yourself in a very multicolored strategy. And it synergizes, of course, with the energy deck, uh, which is a very, very powerful deck. Uh, however, I don't think uh, this is much more of a standard viable card more than a, uh, a limited style card. Uh, I think it's perfectly fine to run in limited. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. However, uh, it's not a first pick. It's just not that powerful uh, in limited in particular. <clears throat> Subtle Strike is an instant for one and a black. Choose one or both. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until the end of the turn and put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. So uh, I actually really like this card. Uh, I think this is probably the best, which is a little sad. Uh, it's a it, it's instant speed combat trick. However, the combat trick kind of sticks around with that one, one counter. Obviously, you're dependent on having a creature out, but generally this is limited. I think that's a pretty easy thing to manage. Uh, and then on top of that, you can hopefully pick off one of the opponent's creatures with a card like this, which is really, really good. So I like this card. It's not a huge, amazing card. Uh, definitely expecting it to not be our pick. But for now, I think it's the best. Uh, Torch Gauntlet uh, is an equipment uh, for two mana. Target creature, get, or excuse me, the equipped creature gets plus two plus zero. And then it has an equipped cost of two. Pretty straightforward. It does have artifact synergy in this, de or in this uh, set, so worth noting there. Uh, on top of that, it is an equipment, not an enchant creature, so you're not losing out on uh, value if your opponent kills the creature that this is attached to. Yes, you have to re-equip it, but you don't lose the gauntlet, which is nice. Uh, all of that being said, it's not a great equipment. <laughs> um, it does boost the power, and that's great. It's going to trade up a lot of the time on whatever creature it is. But I don't think it's enough. Uh, it's just not an amazing card. And so I, I would pass on this. Uh, there are certain instances where I'd be really stoked to play it. But unfortunately, we're not there yet. So definitely not a first pick. Uh, Foundry Screecher is a 2-1 for 2 and a black. It has flying. And it gets plus 1, plus 0 as long as you control an artifact. So right there, we're seeing that artifact synergy. You really want to be able to play artifacts in a lot of different decks. Uh, and this this set really does make that easy. Uh, this is a perfectly fine three drop. Uh, I don't think it's an amazing three drop because it does die very, very easily. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, and I may be wrong, but I feel like there was a lot of burn in this set, or, or at least a lot of removal opportunity. Uh, we're looking here at Subtle Strike. This takes this card out on its own. You don't even have to block it. So there are a lot of things that can deal with this. Uh, I do think it's a perfectly fine three drop. It's a must answer, of course, but not amazing. I think I'd rather have the Subtle Strike still. Uh, Prakata, hopefully that's correct, Pillar Bug, uh, is a 2-3 three for 3 mana artifact, obviously. Uh, pay 1 black and it gains lifelink until the end of the turn. So, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, again, it's been a little while since we've opened this, but I believe there was, like, a, a full cycle of artifact creatures that you could pay a color into, and they would get some kind of ability that kind of f focused on that color. This is obviously the black one, but I do believe there was one of every color. And I guess they're fine. They're not amazing. Uh, you have to pay the mana to make them kind of worth it. Uh, and I don't like cards like that. I want a card to be okay on its own and then be able to really make it good uh, if I pay that extra mana for whatever ability it has. And so I think this is fine, but honestly, Subtle Strike seems better. I'll take removal over this any day. Oh. Uh, Glint Sleeve Artisan uh, is a 2-2 for 2 and a white, and it has Fabricate 1, another new mechanic for this set. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it or create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. So uh, this is actually a really solid 3-drop. Uh, it's obviously not amazing, but you get 3 power and 3 toughness if you want uh, for that 3 mana. Not only that, one of those creatures is an artifact, which is important in this set, as we've known. Uh, or you can just buff this guy, make him a 3-3 three, three for 3. That's perfectly fine. Uh, I think nine times out of ten, you're going to go for two creatures versus one. That's just my opinion. But uh, I do kind of like this card. 
Again, I still think Subtle Strike is better uh, because we're really just not hitting a lot of great commons, but that's okay. Uh, we'll see what the rest of the pack holds, but I like this card. I think this is perfectly playable uh, in a white deck. <clears throat> uh, Essence Extraction is an instant for one and two black. It deals three damage to target creature and you gain three life. Well, this is a very strict upgrade to Subtle Strike. So this is just straight up great removal. Uh, you're going to be able to pick something off uh, and you're gaining that three life back at instant speed for three mana. That's perfect. That's very, very good. Uh, there's not a whole lot to say other than removal is always at a premium, uh, especially in limited. And so you're going to want to take cards like these early. <laughs> Uh, Morbid Curiosity is a sorcery for one and two black. Uh, as an additional cost to play it, you do have to sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Uh, draw cards equal to the converted mana cost of the sacrificed permanent. Uh, this is okay, but not great. Uh, generally speaking, you're going to probably have a lot of like servo tokens and stuff. Uh, and their CMC is zero. <laughs> uh, so you're not going to get a lot of cards off of that. Uh, and you do have to sacrifice like at least a two drop or a three drop to make this really worth it. Uh, now, thankfully, it does only cost three, so it's probably easy to get a little bit of advantage off of it. But you are sacrificing that creature, and that just feels a like kind of bad. Uh, there are definitely ways to probably you know ab abuse that a little bit, but I'll take hard removal over a card like this any day. Uh, Janjeet Sentry uh, is a two three for two and a blue. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy, and then you can tap it, pay two energy, and uh, you can tap or untap target artifact or creature. Uh, this is just an example of how you can use that energy. Um, th this obviously gives you the two energy to use it once, which is really nice. But you can imagine with things like a tune with Aether, which also gives you two energy, maybe you can get two procs off of this. You know, that kind of thing is actually really, really nice. It's a tapper. Tappers are always good. Uh, but it is a bit dependent on the energy focus. And so I don't love this as much as the uh, removal spell that we already have. But I do think this is a very good card. I don't want to diminish that by any means. Uh, it fits very well into energy decks and it gives you that tap effect. That's great. And then our rare Fleet Wheel Cruiser is a 5-3 for 4 mana. Uh, it is a vehicle and I'll explain that in a bit. It does have trample and haste. And when it enters the battlefield, it becomes an artifact creature until the end of the turn. It does have crude too, so this is unique to the vehicles. Uh, you can tap any number of creatures you control with a total power of two or more, and then this vehicle becomes an artifact creature until the end of the turn, so it's not a creature generally. Obviously, this is unique as it comes into the battlefield. It is a creature, which is pretty cool, uh, and honestly, this can just like demolish the board. <laughs> uh, it's a four mana five three that's going to swing in and deal damage right away. A lot of times, you'll probably find it'll trade off with some stuff, uh, but that's kind of okay. Like I'll, I'll take that. Uh, I think for four mana, this is a really, really good card. I definitely think it's the pick. Uh, we did not get our masterpiece, of course, but that's okay. I do think Fleet Wheel Cruiser, 100% the pick. Uh, Essence Extraction, very, very good as well, uh, but it would not wheel, of course. Uh, and there's no possible way that would, but uh, definitely a very, very good rare for limited. Uh, so if you disagree, please feel free to let me know, though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Crackback episode.